Hi there, welcome to QA Box Let's Test. In this video, we are going to learn how to read the JCHA from Excel, convert that into JSON, and later save that JSON file onto our local system. We are also going to see when we have the JSON file, how to convert that into an Excel file. So that's the objective of this particular video. Now to accomplish this objective, we require to install one package and the name of the package is xlsx. So you just need to execute this command npm install xlsx. So hit enter. Now you just open npm and in just search for xlsx. And first of all, we have this data.xlsx file. So you see in here, there are three sheets in this file. First one is product and in this product you could see that I'm working with a string data type I'm working with date data type and I'm working with boolean so instead of picking those check boxes I'm just going ahead with the string and later on I'm going to menu create that using JavaScript so I'm going to convert that into the JavaScript boolean values then we are working with the currency and this is a number so I'm trying to cover all the different data types that we have all right okay so Let's move on to task number one, which is read data from Excel and store it into a JSON file. Of course, the package that we have to install, we have to bring that in this particular file like this. Okay, so step number one, read file. So how are we going to do that? We are just going to say xlsx.read file. That's the method that we have to use. Okay. So now this particular method takes in what it takes in the file name and it also takes in some uh, options okay in the form of object we have to pass this so first let's start with providing the file name and the name of the file in our case is data.xlsx so since both these file excel-json.js and data.xlsx are at the same location so providing name is good enough else you have to provide in the full path so I just say at this location there would be a file with the name data.xlsx. Okay. So this is going to give me that workbook. So let us save that in a constant WB like that. Okay, so we now have access to this workbook. So the next thing that we have to do is we have to read sheet from the workbook. So let us first do one thing. Let us say uh, I want to console log WB. Okay, dot sheet name. Okay, so this is going to return us an array containing the names of all the sheets within this file. So in here we have three, right? Products, pools, and logins. So let me just save it and run it. To run this file, we just have to say node Excel uh, name of the file and hit enter. Okay, so we get this array back. Okay, so you see we are able to retrieve the names of the sheet names. So now uh, if I have access to this, I just have to now read a particular sheet and let me give it the name WS. And the way I'm going to read that is workbook.sheets. And inside that, I'm going to provide the name of the sheet that I want to read. And I want to read the sheet products. Okay, now I have got access to this worksheet. So let us again log that once to console and see what do we have in here. If I run this now, okay, I see a lot of things in here. Okay, so this is talking about A1 and A1 cell basically, this is representing this particular cell. Okay. And it is giving us a lot of attributes around that cell. So it is telling us the type of that is string. Okay. And it contains the value name. Right. And so on. Same way. Uh, if we just move on to A2. Then inside that you have this. And this is the value product A. All right. So like that. Okay. So we get hold of the worksheet as well. Now the next step is. Let me just comment this out read sheet data and convert it into json and now to do that you have to say xlsx dot utils so this is what you have to use and then you say sheet and now you see a lot of options in here 
right? So you can convert that to CSV, HTML. We have to pick this JSON, right? And now it is asking us to provide the worksheet, and we also have some options again. So if I just say worksheet is WS, and I just save that constant, and let's call it data. So we get this, okay? Now let us console log out our data. So I save that, run this program again. If you watch closely, the date is not coming in the correct format, okay? Now to correct this particular behavior, we have to pass in those options. So we can pass in the option in here. And the first thing that we can pass is if we want to read that particular value in the JavaScript date format, then I have to say cell dates, okay, and by default it is uh, false, so we just have to change it to true. Now, if I just run this again, we see the date in this particular format. However, I would like to read that in the DDMMYY format. Now to do that, the thing that you have to use it, and I just take a copy of this and just comment this thing out. And in here, I have to pass in a different property and the property is date NF. And now we can pass in our format and we can say mm dd yyyy okay now if i just run the save this run it again i still see this in the same format so i have to pass in one more option in here okay and let us pass in that option so we just say raw the value has to be false so like that so if I execute this now, so now you see we are uh, getting the date in our format. Okay, great. So now step four is optional. The thing is the value of this page is coming in the form of string and I want to convert that into the JavaScript Boolean values. And to do so, we are going to say let new data is equal to an empty array and then we say new data is equal to data dot map because in here we have to pass in the callback so we just pass in that callback and inside that we write a logic to update the data type from string to boolean and it's very simple you just say if d dot paid triple equal to if this is true then simply change this to javascript boolean value okay like this and same way we do for false and in here we just say false and this is false and we just return t okay so now we have this new data let me save this and run this thing Okay, so we now see the JavaScript Boolean values. Great. Next step is we have to write that into a file. Okay, and for that we are going to use our FS module and we just say fs.write file sync. Let's use this. This is something that we covered in the previous video. So we have to pass in path and we have to pass in the data. And remember the data has to be passed in this particular format and currently our data is in the form of JSON object. So I have to stringify that, right? So now let us give it the, uh, the file the name. So we just say this is going to be data JSON dot JSON. Okay, let us give this name and we have to say JSON dot stringify and we just stringify our new data. So when I now run this, there should be a new file created in here and that should contain the JSON data. Okay, let us run this. All right, so we have this file now. If I click on this, I get my data in this particular format. So let us correct this format slightly. So we'll just delete this. We go back in here and in stringify, we just say null and we say two. Right, so if I just 
save it, run this again. So the file is created again and now my data is showing in the correct format and you see data is coming properly and also the boolean values. All right. So we have achieved the objective number one, which is read data from Excel and store into data file. Okay. Now we have to do the reverse. So I'm just going to comment out everything in here. Read data from JSON and store it into Excel file. So the first step is fs.read file sync. That's how we are going to read it. I mean, we learned that in the last video. So we just say fs.read file sync. Why I'm using sync? Because I want next operation to begin only after this is finished. Okay. So we just pass in what the path right in any option that we want to pass so we provide the name which is data json dot json okay we just say data json dot json this is my file and i pass in utf8 okay because otherwise this will return us uh, what it is going to return us buffer now uh, i want to convert that into json so for that i have to say json dot pass Okay, because I am going to convert this JSON object into Excel file, right? So now we have to save it somewhere. So we say content is equal to this. So this is the content that I want to save into Excel. Now the next step is I should have written it under step one comment. Step two is create a workbook. Now to create a workbook, we have to say Excel is X dot utils dot we have a method book new so this creates a new workbook as you could see so let's store that and we say let new workbook is equal to this so we have a workbook what's our next step so create a worksheet from json data read into step one okay so let us create new worksheet and we have to now use Excel as X dot utils dot now in the task one we used sheet to JSON now we have to do the reverse so JSON to sheet is our method so we just say JSON to sheet and in here we have to pass in the data so what is my data my data is that content so let us pass in content in here okay now the worksheet that we have created we have to append that to the workbook in step number four and to do so we are going to say xls x dot utils dot book append sheet we have this method okay and in here we have to pass in the workbook the worksheet and the name that we want to give to our worksheet so we just say new workbook and then we say new worksheet and let us give it the name uh, new data okay so this is the name we want to give to our sheet okay so next is we have to write data to excel that's our last step okay and we have to say excel sx so in the task one we use red file in here we have to say write file all right like that and in here you have to pass in the workbook okay then you have to pass in the file name and any particular uh, option okay so we just say the workbook is new workbook and let us give this file the name new excel dot xlsx okay so we are good uh, let us save this and yeah so new xlx is created let us click on that all right so we see uh, all the things in the proper way uh, the sheet name is new data right string is working fine dates are working fine uh, again uh, this boolean thing is working fine so you could see that in this particular case the javascript boolean is converted to the string uh, values then currency is working fine and the numbers are also working fine all right now 
if you want to make generic functions which you can use again and again so I have that as well for you and again if you understand the concept that I've explained it here it's very simple so these are the things that we hard coded now this time we are reading right we are re uh, we are going to generate JSON from Excel you can also decide to return JSON uh, from the Excel and the only difference would be the last line of this function is writing that data to the JSON file you can decide to return uh, the, the data from here directly okay that's uh, totally up to you how do you want to use that right so these are all the hard-coded value the uh, other logic is pretty much the same in here the only other thing that I've done is so you also need to pass in this boolean data props so for example in your case there might be multiple columns which uh, are a boolean data type right so then you are going to just pass an array of those and this logic is going to convert all of that you know into uh, the JavaScript boolean data type all right rest all the things are pretty much the same right so let us execute this example now and before that let's uh, comment out everything in here so we are going to now take a copy of this bools okay in here you see there are two column containing these uh, boolean values okay so in here they are string and then uh, we are going to convert those into boolean and we are going to store uh, this data in the form of json okay so yes this is done and let us also delete all the files that we created okay so these are the two files that we created so i'm just going to delete those all right so now we are using this uh, data.xlsx and then we are passing in this bools this is the sheet name and then uh, these are the two columns which are uh, required to be converted into JavaScript boolean and this is the name of the JSON file okay so let us run this okay so excel data.json has been created and now you see this paid and existing customer both are converted to uh, JavaScript boolean great uh, next is same way you can write generic function to generate excel file from your json file and in here also it's uh, pretty simple so let me just uh, comment the uh, generate json from excel uh, invoke call and in here uh, what are we passing we are passing json file path excel file path and the sheet name okay because these were the hard coded values so now if we just say okay i'm going to read the data from excel data.json the file that we created in the previous step okay and uh, this is a new excel that we are going to generate and the name of the sheet would be new data right so this new excel dot xlx is created let us double click on that all right so you see that everything is being uh, working properly right so yes uh, this is very important uh, for the testers at least because uh, you know not everyone is comfortable with creating uh, the array of objects right uh, in here we are working with just a couple of objects but in reality like you know there might be you know 20 different uh, keys and values that you have to enter and then you want to iterate that over 20 different combinations so it's it becomes quite messy right so you just put your data into excel and use these two generic functions right to you know do the job for you all right so i hope you, you like this video thank you so much